What's up, everybody? This is Rui Diaz Mio Sid with a, another live stream where we will figure out what the heck Cool Forest Knight built. And I think he applied the Super Retro Texture Pack, which looks really nice. Looks like an NES game. But let's go back to the lab, shall we? He built a kit dispenser. We're trying to learn commands. And one of the things that we wanted to build was a kit dispenser that would dispense you with a kit that will allow you to play uh, a PvP. And I try to build something like that. This is my attempt, test dispenser. This does not work, folks. This um, this was a kit dispenser that is supposed to give you a diamond sword, but um, you need three more. Oh my gosh, wait, it is working. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, it works. Well, maybe it works. The thing is that I made it so that you ha it uses XP. It's a, it's a dispenser that's supposed to take your XP to give you the item in the frame. The problem though, why it might not work, is that I used a command from Java. Uh, this second command block is supposed to give you the diamond sword, which I think is indicated by that number. I don't know if the data values are the same in Bedrock, because this is Bedrock. I don't think they are. I think I could easily change it, though. Because uh, this checks your XP, so... I just need to have another player that's in in um, survival mode, but I need to stay in creative because I'm doing the testing. So what I'm gonna do, folks, I'm gonna get in with my dummy character that I created for such experiments. But anyway, this is my attempt. Cool Forest Knight built this monstrosity. Not a monstrosity, it's really cool. Uh, it has a, that many command blocks because it gives you a whole kit. Allow me to demonstrate. Bam. Look at that. I got a wooden sword, bread, golden apple, a chain helmet, chain chest plate, leggings, boots, bow, and an arrow. And let me see. Oh wow, and I guess two two stacks of arrows, technically. So it gives you a bunch of stuff. And right now I am trying to get in with my other character. Let's see. Will my screen turn off? Because I cannot be having that happen. Because last time I tried this, folks, I was I would get in and then it would only last for like 30 seconds before my because I'm using my phone. Uh, and um, yeah, it would just close. And shift auto lock. Okay, good. I think we're good. All right. And we are going in. But anyway, this is what it does. However, this dispenser. Um, does not check for XP. It just gives you the kit when you hit the button, which is certainly a thing that you would want for certain PvP games. So, it's totally valid. Let me see. First one clears the inventory. Hmm, but he made it clear also. He made it so that when you hit the button, everybody in the game will have the kit will have their inventory cleared and and get the kit. And in fact, I'm going to I'm going to try to figure it out if that's the case by let me actually get the kit on. Um 
Hmm, there was a way to do it. Oh. Oh, cool. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna see if Feral Platypus also does that. So right now, on my phone, I'm going to the lab with Feral Platypus. Who is nowhere near the lab right now. Okay, there we go. Okay. Here we go. Whoa. Okay, so there's Feral Platypus, folks. Looks like Alex. And, whoa! Something just happened. Oh my gosh, somebody set up us the bomb. Apparently the item frame uh, was um, knocked out. I guess, I mean, I knocked it out. Possibly, prob probably. <laughs> so, I better fix it. Let me see. Less Cool Force Knight kills me. Because that would not be cool. Uh, iron. Let me just do this. Iron. Oops. So I guess what I'm what I'm trying to do here, folks, is reproduce a working dispenser. Let me see. Frame. Whoops. Bam. And he put a chest plate, I believe. Uh, there we go. Fixed. But yeah, you hit the button, and voila. Uh... I do believe that Alex got them as well, or Feral Platypus, yes. If I hit it again, let me see. Disappear and come back, yep. He definitely gets them. And so let's look at the command blocks that he used. We have slash clear and 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 it's set with at a, which means everybody. So one player hitting this will make everybody's inventory get cleared. The next one gives wooden sword. And 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 I think this kit was from a game that we downloaded from the marketplace called PvP Arena or something. Um, it's, it has PvP in it and, and Arena. It's basically just like a world that's built for PvP Arena. It's like, you know, several different coliseums, as it were. Um, and, you, and it would have a button before you started your match where people would get their loadouts. But it was set instead of um, at A, they probably use something that functioned more like at P because it only obviously you only you know we, so if you're going to choose among different loadouts or kits um, you know you only want it affecting the person pressing the button so so yeah it's um, you could change it to at P so that it only affects the person that's nearest to this machine but right now we're not going to mess with that, but I just wanted to point out that that's what at A does. So, gives wooden sword, and then gives 64 loaves of bread, 10 golden apples, chainmail helmet, but it's all the at give, or the slash give command. At chainmail chest plate, at chainmail leggings. At chainmail boots. And 
and and then I guess because he was running out of room he actually made this circle around this way but you could have made it it could have been made you know over here like it could have just continued in this direction so this this is irrelevant it doesn't matter because the, the, the repeater just will send the signal here and then give bow so it's just all the items folks 120 arrows but this one even though it is a successful machine it's not it doesn't check for um, it doesn't check for uh, XP because my whole deal with this one is that I want it to, to check for XP so what I'm gonna do is okay so the command here apparently works um, I don't think it's gonna give me that sword I think I'm gonna have to find the appropriate data value for the sword in bedrock however I'm gonna change the game mode for feral platypus to survival but first I'm gonna kill all entities here because everyone's gonna come and try to get her because right now she's set to creative so nobody attacks her um, let me see how am I gonna do this well first I'll set the game mode to I'm going to kill all entities first. Because last time I changed my game mode to creative, or sorry, survival to test something like this, all the monsters in my lab tried to attack me and killed me actually. Um, so let's just go with all entities. Uh, wait a minute, but then she's going to be an entity too, and uh, let me, I'm going to try to see if I can change it on hers, or set spawn, set world spawn, okay, this will make it so that when she dies, she'll just appear in the same place. So I set world spawn for her. Uh, okay. And I'm going to kill everybody. Yay! Okay, she didn't die. And you know what? She didn't die because it was in creative. If she had been in survival, she, she would have died. So I wasn't sure how that was going to work. So I just went ahead and protected her by doing that. Okay. So now I'm going to change her game mode. Um, let's see. Whoops. And change to survival. Okay, and then for Okay. So bam. So she is now in uh survival mode. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, give her some levels because I'm looking on her screen and she has no levels. Uh, so let's see. Um, I'm going to find a bottle of enchanting. Let me see. Look for bottle. Bottle of enchanting. Okay, so now I'm gonna give her a bunch of levels. Okay, so now she's got plenty of levels. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna walk towards the 
dispenser, and let me get a good view here. And I'm going to see if she gets that diamond sword. Um, I don't think she will. Uh, no, it did not. Here's what I'm going to change, though. I think my commands are right except for the data value. So in order to test it, I'm going to try to see what I, ha what I have to do on my end here to give myself a diamond sword. So I'm going to hit give. Uh, myself. No. Rats. Here we go again. Yeah, because if I can test this on myself, the problem is that you don't get autofill when you type commands in a command block. So you do get autofill when you type it here. So I'm going to write bam, a name, give myself. Um, okay, so I'm going to put diamond. Diamond sword. Diamond. Okay, so this command gives me a diamond sword. Perfect. So I'm going to use that in let me see um, okay this would have been the diamond sword so let me change it to just diamond sword how about that I guess in Java it, it used like some kind of numerical value, some integer. But here, luckily, we can just do this. What I am noticing, folks, as I look at, at uh, Feral Platypus's screen, um, you know what? Next time, I'm going to set a Feral Platypus up as a sec as a player two on the Switch. But um, but for now, I can tell you that every time she hits the button. Uh, levels do decrease. Her levels decrease. That means that it's the game is attempting to allow her to make the purchase, as it were. So let me give her some levels again. Okay. So now she is. Uh, she's got level six. Let's review. This is a diamond sword dispenser. It's supposed to check her levels. The first command block uh, checks to see if well it, it gives the message and it checks to see if the player has at least uh, has level 2 or less that's what that means The it says at player at P and then it's got the square brackets and then it says L equals 2 that's supposed to see if if the player has either two levels or less it's going to display this message that's what that check is for if you want to get a good look at that it's slash msg at p that means nearest player in this case meaning the player pushing the button uh, uh, square bracket l equals two and um, end square bracket and then the message and then this at give or sorry slash give at nearest player um, if uh, if it's at if it's level three, uh, it gives diamond sword, and then finally, this checks for the XP or ticks away the XP slash XP minus three levels three L, um, and again it's to the nearest player, so that's what it is. I will now demonstrate, see if it works, and blam! Oh my gosh! It worked. It worked, folks. Feral Platypus does have the diamond sword. Let me let me show you. I made her hold it now. But yes, it works. 
This has been a success. Excellent. So once again, that is slash message at player at P meaning nearest player square bracket checks for level two, which is L equals two n square bracket space the message that will display if the player has less than level uh, level two or less and that's the first command block the next one slash give at p meaning nearest player square bracket uh level three if it if they're level three gives a diamond sword it's so it's square bracket lm equals three n square bracket and then the item to give diamond sword in this case and finally uh the check for the XP, that which uh, subtracts XP. Uh, so it's slash XP space negative three L, meaning it subtracts three levels from the player um, at player, meaning nearest player, square bracket LM equals three, end square bracket. And this setup should actually allow you to buy things with your levels. So that is how this works. I hope this was helpful, folks. Um, and, and this other one, again, <laughs> this one just gives you a kit. It will not check your levels. It just clears your inventory. And you know what? I might actually add that. I'm going to add a command block that clears your inventory. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually delete this and give myself a command block. Let's see. So slash give uh, at self command and yeah I guess that's it bam so now I have a command block And I will set this one here. Bam. Okay, I'm gonna have to ask you to stand back a little. There you go. Perfect. And now I will rebuild the dispenser. Bam, bam. And bam, gotta put the button back. I can just write the word but, and that's enough. All right, so button, item frame. And bam. And then after I got the item frame, I am going to place it there. And then I'm going to place the sword. That should really do it. So I'm going to add this command block. Let's see. Ch -ch -ch at a yes and then somebody knocking you can come on in I need to go get groceries okay <laughs> anyway folks uh, apparently I'm gonna have to end the stream soon but not before I add the slash clear command to my dispenser so we will do that um, oh you know what I need a I got ahead of myself. Uh, let me... Okay, here we go. So, I forgot to put my repeater there. So, rep... Redstone repeater... Um, a 
Okay. So command block. Redstone repeater. And now this. So send back again. Okay. Button. Item frame. And sword. I guess I could put the sign is optional, I guess. So let me see. How come I can't? Okay. I guess you can't hurt it with the sword. Anyway, so this should be enough. Uh, I'm gonna once again demonstrate its use. Um, it's gonna. It should clear out the inventory, and it should give Feral Platypus the sword. So, gonna have her hit the button, and bam. Yes. No. Wait, it didn't clear the inventory? Wait a minute, I haven't typed. Oh my goodness. I have to add the command. Okay, so I'm gonna hit slash clear. Oh my goodness. At P. Okay, so, and I think she doesn't have enough levels. So we're gonna give her some more levels, folks. And, okay, now she's got tons of levels. All right, Feral Platypus. Again, who is in survival mode, because I can't you can't test this unless the person's in survival. So, right now, she has the sword in hand, but her inventory is full. Um, so this is supposed to, so what's gonna happen, it's gonna look, if it works, her, her sword is gonna like disappear and then reappear. So, I guess, I don't know why I did that. Um, let me see, what would be the best angle? Okay, so, there. If the sword disappears and reappears, that means it worked. So here we go. Wait. Okay, it's giving me, you know, it. it's only half working. Let me look at this one. Clear all. But it didn't... Mm. Oh my gosh, it, I was the nearest player, dude. It, it did it to me. Because I was actually near to the command block. Let me do it again. Okay. So I'm gonna stand back here. You can still see her sword. Oh my gosh, so it just cleared out the inventory. It did not give her the sword. Oh, it's the timing. Okay, let me try this. see everything is faster this one will be slower that hmm I would think that this needs to be faster and everything else slower Okay. Uh, 
Uh, not enough levels. Okay. So now it's not working, but because there's not enough levels. So here I go. This has to work. Okay. Okay, now she's got enough levels. So I'm going to stand way back here. And this should make her have a sword in hand. And yes, it worked. It worked. It cleared out the inventory and gave her that. And she bought it with her levels. So again, it was slash clear nearest player slash the message of they have uh, less than the required number of levels slash give the item and then subtract XP for the item. Wow. Okay, perfect. That is excellent. Anyway, folks, this is Dwee the Asmio Sid. I gotta sign off. I gotta do some adulting. So I will see you all later. Stay mindful, gamers.